Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be the second video for my beautiful guitar parts series. So for this video, I've chosen another one of Dominic Miller's songs. I know even my last video was on one of his songs, but I really love this piece of music and I think this guitar part is really beautiful. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So the name of this song is Do You Want Me? It's from the album First Touch by Dominic Miller. It would really help you if you would go and check out the original song once before you start learning from this video. So the original song is actually played in standard tuning and without a capo but I decided to put a capo on the second fret there because it makes things slightly easier for a lot of you because you get a lower action and the frets are a little closer together so you don't need to stretch as much. So I've divided this song into a few different parts. Let's start with part A. It sounds like this. So you start by playing this part, so there you have the 4th fret of the G string which you are playing with the little finger, then you have the open B string and then you have the 2nd fret of the high E string, like that. So on the right hand you are playing the G string, then the B string and then the high E string. And after that you have this, so there you have this chord where you are placing the middle finger on the 3rd fret of the high E string while keeping this finger on the 2nd fret. So you play this, where you're playing the 4th fret of the G string, the open B string, then the 3rd fret of the high E string, and then you're pulling off to the 2nd fret of the high E string, like that. So from the start all together you get this, and after that you have this part. So there you're playing the 4th fret of the G string then the open B string, then the 2nd fret of the high E string and then you're pulling off to the open high E string, like that. So you get this, and after that you play this, where you're playing the 4th fret of the G string, then the open B string and then the open high E string. So all together you get this, and if you play it from the start, you have this all together. One more time, really slow. And after that you have this part. So you start with this chord where you have the 3rd fret of the low E string and the 3rd fret of the B string. You also have the open G string there in between. You start by playing this. So there you play the low E string first, then the open G string and then the B string. And then you place your little finger on the 5th fret of the D string and then you play this. Where you play the D string, then the open G string and then the 3rd fret of the B string. And then you slide from the 3rd fret to the 2nd fret of the B string. Like that. So all together you have this. And after that you have this part. So there you're playing the 5th fret of the D string, then the open G string, then the 2nd fret of the B string. And then you're pulling off to the open B string. And then you're playing this. Where you're playing the 5th fret of the D string, then the open G string, and then the open B string. Like that. So if you play it all together from the start you get this. And after that you have this part. So there you have this chord shape where you have the 5th fret of the D string and the 3rd fret of the B string. You also have the open low E string there for the bass note. So you start by playing the open low E string, then the open G string, and then you play the 3rd fret of the B string, and then you have this. So there you play the note on the 5th fret of the D string, then slide on to the 4th fret and while holding that note you play the note on the 3rd fret of the B string 
and then you slide down to the second fret like that so all together you have this and with the first part i play that once really slow and after that you have this part where you playing the fourth fret of the d string then the open g string then the second fret of the b string and pulling off to the open b string and after that you have this where you play the fourth fret of the d string then the open g string then the open b string like that so all together it sounds like this one more time really slow So I play the whole thing from the very beginning till this point. So it sounds like this so far. And after that you have this part. there you have this chord where you have the second fret of the low e string the second fret of the d string and the fourth fret of the g string you start by playing this where you play the second fret of the low e string then the d string and then the open b string and then you have this part where you playing the note on the fourth fret of the g string then the bass note on the second fret and then the fourth fret of the g string again like that one more time really slow and then you change to this chord where you have the fourth fret of the low e string the second fret of the d string and the fourth fret of the g string you start by playing this so on the right hand there you're basically playing the same thing that you played on the previous chord so you're playing the low e string then the d string then the open b string and then you playing the g string then the low e string again and then the g string again so from the previous chord and after that you go back to this part and you repeat the whole thing that you learned before So that's the entire A part. I'll play the whole thing once from the start. It sounds like this. that we have part b which sounds like this so the first chord that we have is a b major 6 chord you have the fifth fret of the low e string the fourth fret of the d string and the sixth fret of the g string you play it like this So you play the G string first, then the low E string, then the D string, and then the G string again. One more time. And then you change the chord to this, which is actually a B flat seven chord. So here you have the fourth fret of the low E string, the fourth fret of the D string, and the fifth fret of the G string. So you plug the low E string, the D string, and the G string together. So all together, you have this from the last chord, and then you have this part. So there you're playing this note. So you're playing the note on the sixth fret of the D string, and after that, the eighth fret of the D string. So again, from the start. And 
then you change to this chord. So there you have to play the 9th fret of the low E string, the 9th fret if you count from the capo. So you're playing the 9th fret of the low E string, the 6th fret of the D string and the 9th fret of the G string. So you start by plugging the G string, then the low E string, then the D string and then the G string again. Like that. So all together from the start. And then you have this part. So there you're playing the notes on the 7th fret of the B string and then the 9th fret of the B string two times. Like that. So again from the start we have this. And then you change the chord to this. So there you have the 9th fret of the low E string then the 7th fret of the D string and the 9th fret of the G string. So you have to play the low E string, then the D string and then the G string. Like that. And then you just plug this chord. So it's the same chord, you're plugging the low E string, the D string and the G string together. And then you're sliding down and letting go. And then you have this part. So there you have this minor 7 chord shape where you have the 2nd fret of the low E string, the 2nd fret of the D string and the 2nd fret of the G string. So there you're playing this part in the very beginning. So you're playing the bass note on the low E string and then you're plucking the notes on the D and G strings together and after that you have this part. So there you're slapping your thumb onto the lower strings of the guitar to create a percussive sound and then you're doing this where you're plucking the D and G strings but it's muted with the left hand so you're also doing that to get a percussive sound like that and after that you play this where you're playing the bass note and then you're playing the D and G strings together. Like that. So all together you have this. One more time really slow. And after that you just repeat. So you're just playing that back to back two times. Like that. I play that one more time really slow. And after that in the end you just play one long bass note. Like that. One more time really slow. And if you play the whole thing it sounds like this. One more time really slow. And if you play it up to speed it sounds like this. And then you have this part. So there you have this chord where you have the 4th fret of the low E string, the 4th fret of the D string and the 6th fret of the G string. So you can play it like this or you can play it like me. I'm playing this part with the bar. So I'm barring my, uh, I'm barring with my index finger to play the notes on the 4th fret of the low E string and the D string. So you start by playing this. So there you plug the low E string, the D string and the G string together like that. And then you plug just the D and G strings three times. Like that. And after that you change the chord to this where you have the 6th fret of the low E string, the 4th fret of the D string and the 6th fret of the G string. And you play this. So there you play the low E string once and then the D and G strings together three times. Like that. So all together you have this. So that's the whole B part, I play it from the start, it sounds like this.
And after that, the song goes back into the A part, which is exactly the same. And then comes back to the B part, which is also exactly the same. And after that, it goes into the C part, which sounds like this. So there we have this chord again, where we have the ninth fret of the low E string the 6th fret of the D string, the ninth fret of the G string, and also the note on the 7th fret of the B string. So the way you have to play it sounds like this. So you play the G string first, then the low E string, then the D string, and then the G string. Like that. And then you have this part. Where you're playing the B string, and then you're playing the G string. So all together from the first part, you get that. And after that you have this part. So there you're just making one change, you're moving this finger from the 6th fret to the 7th fret of the D string. So now you're plucking the D string and the B string together. And then you're playing the note on the G string. Like that. So all together you have this. And then you have this part. Where you're playing the B string, then the G string, and then the B string again. And then you play the open low E string. And then you repeat this part. You already played before it's exactly the same so all together the whole C part sounds like this that part A, part B and part C repeats. You can figure it out by watching the playthrough section. And after that we have an ending part which sounds like this. there you start off the same way, you play that same riff that you played in the A part and then you have this new part. So you start with this chord where you have the 5th fret of the A string, the 4th fret of the D string and the 4th fret of the G string. You play this, you're playing the A string, then the D string, then the open B string and then the G string. Like that. And then you change the chord to this. So here you have the 4th fret of the A string, the 4th fret of the D string and the 3rd fret of the G string. You play this. So there you're playing the A string, then the D string, then the open B string, then the G string and then the open B string again. So from the start you have this. Then you change the chord to this. So on this chord you have the 3rd fret of the low E string, the 4th fret of the D string, the 6th fret of the G string, the open B string and the open high E string. So here you play the low E string, then the D string, G string, B string and the high E string. Then you change the chord to this. So there you have the low E string as the bass note which is open. And you have the 5th fret of the D string and the 7th fret of the G string. So you're again plucking the low E string, the D string, G string, B string and the high E string in that order. Like that. So all together from the start so far we have this. then we have this part. So 
there we have the fifth fret of the A string, the fourth fret of the D string, and the seventh uh, and the sixth fret of the G string, and the open B string and the open high E string on top. So you're playing the A string, D string, G string, B string, and the high E string in that order, like that. So again from the start. And then we have this chord. So there you have the second fret of the low E string, which you can play with the thumb like that. And then you have the fourth fret of the A string, the open D string, the third fret of the G string, and the second fret of the B string. So there on the right hand, I'm playing the low E string, then the A string, and then the D string, G string, and then the B string. Like that. And then you have this part. So there you're playing the harmonics on the 7th fret. Start by playing the harmonic on the 7th fret of the low E string. Then you play the G string, B string and the high E string like that. With a roll. So the whole ending part sounds like this. So those are all the parts that you need to play this. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or requests for song tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.